Disney both win. What is the tea here? <laughs> As a diva fan, how exciting was that? Not that women have to made it it, but I feel like because there's two shows, there definitely should be. I need to update this video, so I'm finding Paloma right now. A day after filming the prediction video, there's a new match that's confirmed. Welcome to Beer and Train Develop. This is DS, and we've got very special episode. It's WrestleMania season, and this is your WrestleMania XL 40 prediction video. And we've got a fabulous bomb.com guest here, starting with she ain't worried about bad chicks. When you're a queen, you ain't worried about a bad chick. We've got Ariane Andrew here. What's poppin', boo? Oh my god, it is my Freaking honor to have you in a WrestleMania review last year and WrestleMania prediction this year. It is my true, true honor. Well, I'm happy to be back and thank you. It's always a blessing just to talk to you and, you know, for us to spill the tea together. And of course, we've got our Ring the Bell debut of the most popular sugar baby in wrestling, Hunter Gallagher's here. Yes. DS, I want to thank you so much for having me on your show. I just want to say you are absolutely living my dream talking about women's wrestling and getting paid for it. All right, so we got WrestleMania XL 40. We're filming this prediction show. It is kind of annoying that there's only two women's matches confirmed right now. Guess what happened? And a day after filming the prediction video, there's a new match that's confirmed, which I'm happy about. Me too, finally, about time. <laughs> but I came to find Paloma to add updated video on this. So first match we have is for the Women's World Championship, Rhea Ripley versus Becky Lynch. Rhea has definitely been holding it down, and I commend her for the simple fact of just her look and her character. If you think about like years ago, NXT, would that have been like your, you know, typical girl who would fit the mold of holding such a big moment and a big title. But Becky is the OG. She's also carried her weight and what she's brought to the table and even what back in the day when you think about NXT, like her being like the mold for like, you know, women. I don't know, like, I feel like it's two very different women, but what you would have saw back in the day and what you see now, for them to have that opportunity, I think is fire. I'm gonna say if I had to choose, I think they're gonna continue with Rhea. Oh. Oh, okay. I do, I I do, I still feel like she can hold the title for a little bit longer. Okay. My, okay. my personal opinion. Oh, but wait, hold on. <laughs> You're like, wait, wait a minute. Clearly you have a different opinion. <laughs> no, no, I actually no, also curious. do have a different opinion. I actually think Becky's gonna leave as the champion. Rhea's character, she kills it. She's been killing it as this character for a long time. I think in terms Mommy. of if she's ready for maybe like a character change, she has been in the same role for a while now. I think giving the title to Becky would give her an opportunity to maybe switch up her style because the way I see it, you know, when not that Rhea's new by any means necessary, but kind of like when, when girls come to the main roster and they kind of have more of that gimmick and it's not really like the real personality version of them yet where we kind of mm. see Charlotte Flair's there, Becky Lynch is there. I feel like Nia Jax is finally getting there. Maybe there's someone who just comes right on in and is a distraction and it's like, ooh, I'm yeah. going to be a part of this whole entire picture. Yeah. I don't know, maybe I'm just wishing for the stars wanting the most and I'm like, WWE. It's Cameron back for the championship. And, 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 when, and when Cameron's music hits, as soon as the match starts, yeah. Girl, bye, 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 bye. People are gonna be so excited for that. They're like, this is what we've been for yeah. our whole life. For yes. years. Yeah, yep. right. I mean, okay, the mommy gimmick is, it's working so well, people are like obsessed with her. I think Rhea Ripley will be retaining because Becky has been just so giving. She's Mother Teresa lately. So I think she's just like giving a lot of opportunity. So I think this is her like big chance to give another rub to mommy. I mean, not that she needs it, but I think that's gonna be another great moment for Rhea. And isn't it kind of funny that like, Rhea is like such an anti-diva, like she, at least like yeah. she started out as such an anti-diva, but now she's doing the most diva stuff. She's showing booty, she's like taking photos with the boobs, like hands on her boobs. Uh, I feel like that's what I was just saying before, like, okay, sorry, I, was, I didn't word it correctly. The diva era. She doesn't fit that mold, but even with her still doing her, I guess you can say diva thing, she's still staying true to herself, which I think is dope. Because a lot of times I feel like when you do get an opportunity, you get very easily sucked in on like what you want people to feel about you, what you want the company, instead of being like, this is who I am and this is what resonates. This is what got me to where I got to is because I stay true to myself and because I'm working what I have. Yeah, but it's interesting. It's also interesting to see the girls as they grow. 
through the whole process. What did you think about the storyline so far between Rhea and Becky? I'm loving it, but again, I also loved when I see like new talent that gets to be a yeah. part of what, you know, WWE is doing. Because I feel like it, initially at some point, you've got to pass the torch. You can't stay at the top forever. I won't say no names, but I would have loved to see some other people on the roster be a part of this. That's actually really interesting because there was a lot of criticism about you know Nia Jax and Liv not getting involved with the WrestleMania match because a lot of people were wanting, well, me included, the Fatal 4-Way match. I was actually thinking today about the match between Bailey, Sasha, Charlotte, and Nia Jax at WrestleMania and how much I really yeah. loved that match. I think it would be great to give these girls an opportunity, especially girls like Tiffany Stratton, who's like very new to the roster, but look at how quickly the crowd got behind her. Like, she's killing it. She has the it factor. Even at NXT, watching her matches, I was like, this girl is gonna get called up so quickly. Like, there, it's just, yeah. some people, it just clicks like that right away. I've been a big fan of hers. For the simple fact, she definitely gives, like, the cute Barbie, but can be like, let's go. Like, the moves that she does, like, how she holds herself in the rain, like, she's giving both of what I feel a superstar is beauty but also huh don't mess with me because i can back it i love that you mentioned that you want to see more opportunities for other people because when you were in wrestlemania i still like to this day i remember when vicky was like against aj will be rosa mendez cameron yeah. <laughs> tamina yep. like, like, everyone's name and i was like oh my god yep. this is for yep. everybody <laughs> As a diva fan, how exciting was that? I'm like, Dad, please let me pay the 20 or $50 for the pay-per-view. Even though it's only one match and it'll last probably 10 minutes, this is all I want to see. And then watching Trin tap out destroyed me. I was like, are you I, I paid for this. What was your reaction when you heard that everyone's going to be in WrestleMania that year? I don't know. I'm like, it's so interesting because I feel like when you're in the business, your outlook on things is so different than when you step out. Ooh, let me take a step back and actually see like what they were trying to do here. I guess that's like the simplest way to put it. Were you excited that you're going to be at WrestleMania match? Yes and no, just considering <laughs> that was like, that was not oh, very convincing. What is the tea here? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, wait, no, wait, hold on. Uh -uh. Let's, let's rewind. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Um, I, again, I think sometimes when you're so like in that world and also like things that you want to do compared to like where you stand, it's, it can kind of be sometimes disheartening and, ex and exciting at the same time. Well, well, very mysterious. <laughs> very honest. Well, I do have to talk about that match a little bit because I still, I still to this day think about oh? how we got a little bit of a wardrobe malfunction <laughs> yeah. during that match. Yeah. What happened? Every WrestleMania, right? Um, it hasn't been every, it was, so that's why I guess I'm a little torn. WrestleManias have always kind of been like a moment of like, what, what is, what is happening? You know, it's kind of been like a, bittersweet moment yeah having a malfunction especially when i'm like okay i already have like 2.5 seconds in here and now i'm about to have a, <laughs> now I have a malfunction i was like well also i'd like to add just the move that she took being emma's tarantula like where she's like she's oh here God. and she can't even like hold, yeah. hold her like yeah. <laughs> i think i did a good job um i guess that was also like a moment for me i wish i could have showcased more and then on top of that i wanted to showcase more and then my top breaking was kind of like i couldn't even enjoy the moment which is unfortunate but i'm still very blessed because how many people get an opportunity to be a part of wrestlemania not me yet <laughs> as we're talking wrestlemania can you believe it's just next weekend this is my second wrestlemania ever i'm so excited we're going to party again with the ring the bell fam oh it's gonna be so good you know last time gail showed up right and if you want to go to mania still and like oh, i didn't get the tickets yet it is not too late, and I'm seriously going to tell you the best way to secure that Mania to get the last minute tickets, and that's all thanks to today's sponsor, Game Time. And I'm not even saying this because they're my sponsors. I actually buy tickets using Game Time, and I've been telling all my friends about it too. It's also not just for wrestling. Game Time is fast and easy way to buy tickets for all sports, music, comedy, and theater events near you with killer last minute deals, all in prices, views from the seat, and the best price guarantee. So just last week, I literally got my favorite K-pop artist, I used first US tour ticket in Chicago with GameTime app. It sold out like instantly and the reseller price was
was like insane. And you know how like they all add taxes, fees afterwards. So I'm like, oh my God. Anyway, for real, game time saved me so much money and headache. And I got a really good seat for IU concert with Bargain. And it shows the view from all seats in the venue. They've got flash deals and zone deals. I felt really informed and convenient when using it. And you can literally check for WrestleMania tickets right now. Let me see. So you can see all the seatings. Let's see. So the view from here, they have flash deals. You can kind of like shift your phone around to see the view. I'm like a full on game time stand now. It's the only ticketing app that gives me complete peace of mind with the purchase. All in price shows you total upfront. So you're not going to be like surprised at the checkout. That happens a lot. And it's so easy. You can buy tickets in seconds with two taps. So yeah, if you guys are looking for WrestleMania tickets this coming weekend or any other tickets, game time is really the way to go. Go download the game time app, create an account and use the code ring the bell for $20 off of your first purchase, which is such a good deal. I'm literally telling all my friends about it. I think they bought Ellie Wong concert ticket with that. Terms apply. Again, create an account and redeem code. Ring the bell. R-I-N-G-T-H-E-B-E-L-L-E -E 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 for $20 off. Download game time today. Last minute ticket. Lowest price guaranteed. You know, let's talk about the second match we got. Bailey versus Io Sky for the WWE Women's Championship. Bailey is the Royal Rumble winner. I mean, I know Bailey. I've... I feel like I had one of my greatest matches when I went back down to NXT. This is the thing, because at the end of the day, it's sports entertainment. You don't want to make it about like how you know someone, but I love Bailey so much. She's like one of the sweetest people. <laughs> like I, I just like she's just one of those people. I feel like just even if she's a heel, you're like, how can I? Do one thing for me about Bailey is she's so entertaining. Like even yeah. during the Rumble this year, how many spots she had that like just cracked me up. I think she was sitting on like Nia's head on the second rope, and she's like. Hi, Michael. She's so good. Like, she's she can live in the moment, play her character, and it's like, to me, it's funny. But here's the thing with Bailey. I love heel Bailey too. Right. But the moment she turned babyface, she got like all serious, all vanilla. I'm like, why do babyface get so boring? Like, why can't they have a little fun a little bit, you know? Well, I feel like we do. Have, I feel like there is, there's some certain baby faces who are still able to bring like the fire. Right. I think there's like that happy medium. I do believe though that if we're keeping it 1000%, I wanna guess you could say it's like an ultra superstar, right? Someone who can kick ass in the ring, who can be a baby, be a heel, be able to make the crowd feel something. That's a very difficult thing to do. And I do believe that certain people play a better role as being a face or a heel. Even though you're playing a character, this is still a part of you. You know what I mean? This is still a part, and I feel like you have to be on a whole, like it's almost like you're superhuman if you're able to do it all. The Rock has been able to, but even as a, even as a heel, people are like, yes! But he has <laughs> that ultra star thing about him. That's why he was able to cross over from wrestling to, you know, pop culture. Speaking of The Rock, Bayley is the Women's Royal Rumble winner this year, which is like advertised as the winner will be main eventing WrestleMania. Well, The Rock is here. It seems like women are not main eventing WrestleMania this year. What's our thought on that? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that upset. We've had a lot of uh, main event matches from the women and I don't think it needs to happen every time, personally. Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns at Re WrestleMania, I expect that to be one of the main events for whichever right. night because Roman, how long has Roman held the title now? Two years? Two years. <laughs> Too long. No, I mean, and he's he's killing it. Roman's yeah. very good at what he does. A storyline like that, that has so much longevity to it that more people are kind of anticipating it. I definitely feel like there's been some momentum lost in like the women's division. I mean, when there was like the evolution and stuff like that you really saw the push for women and again not that women have to made a bit but i feel like because there's two shows there definitely should be but i mean again it's how much effort and stuff is being because if a storyline is solid and people are super invested yeah but if you're just kind of unfortunately if you're just throwing women's matches into something for them to main event just based because it's women but there's no substance it's like people want to feel invested and I do feel like right. when we were having women make, like, I mean, you think about Sasha and Bianca, like that, I get chills just thinking about that. Right. Like, not only two women, two women who look like me, who kicked, like, killed it, yeah. and got that opportunity, got to make it. Like, I yeah. get chills just thinking about that. Like, that was fight. Yeah. Right. Respectfully, if the machine is not putting the storylines and also it's up, it's up to the talent too. It's like, you gotta sometimes turn chicken noodle soup from chicken shit. Sometimes you're only given this little bit and it's like, well, we have to go make something out of it. You know, yeah. fortunately at that time, the machine was behind 
the women and not saying that that hasn't happened as of lately but if you're not given that opportunity you got to go out there and make it make people want to give a f we have social media like create this create more stuff then go back and forth on Twitter, Instagram, we have it. With the SmackDown women's division, it seems like they are putting more effort and consistency in storylines because Naomi had, what, three or four back backstage segments? I don't really know where it's going, but all I can imagine, imagine like we got Jade Cargill, Naomi, Bianca. Let's, we're, we're gonna talk, we're gonna talk about that. Because I think that match is happening. So we're, we're gonna like, talk about that. The end is like, we'll get there. <laughs> I have a question though. Ari, being someone that was in the behind the scenes. Were there a lot of tension about like who goes first, like the match order and stuff like that? I don't know, maybe because I was always in my own world. I'm like the most intro extroverted person. Um, I don't think it was ne ever necessarily about who went first or who went where. It was more of like, who was getting the title? Who was getting mm, the push? Okay. Because if you think about it back then, there was only the Divas Championship. There was no t um, two different brands. It was just one. So that means that's really only giving, if you think about it, unless you have, you know, some type of angle at mat at mat. So this is pushing it for people who can be in the top, even if only one person is getting, you know, the Divas Championship. You only got one star at a time. You know, right, so it, right. it's very yeah. different. I don't care if we're the the pre-show. You know, if we're if we're the dark match, am I walking out with the title? Let's do our predictions. I'm gonna say Bailey because I think the storyline is just like makes so much sense. And Eo has been holding the title for a long time, but it just makes sense. Like Bailey created the damage control. She brought in Eo and Dakota. So for Wait a minute. Maybe I want Eo to win. I don't know. <laughs> it's always hard, be right? It's like, it's always hard to choose because you're like, people get too invested. It's like, guys, it is sports entertainment. You, why, this is just this person playing a character, the work that goes behind it. And even for you to get to that spot, to even have that opportunity to have a match means you're kicking ass. So it's always hard when you have to choose between two, if, you know, especially the women, because we've come such a long way. You're always like, I'm, yeah. Can they both win? Right. But you have to, you know, it's but, like one is only going to win. But pick one. <laughs> so who would no, it be? So pick one. I'm going to say Bailey. I'm going to say Bailey too. Just for the simple fact, um, I think there is like, I feel like there's time for another Bailey ride. Like it's been a, it's been a minute where we've seen her like, you know, hold a title and just do, and do something too, like just separately. Is Bailey your favorite four horsewomen? Oh, uh, 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 no, not. I plead the fins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Confucius. So we got two matches that is currently confirmed. I think the vibe that we're all getting is that there will be a third match. Just a day after filming this prediction video, the new match was added, which I'm very happy about, but I need to update this video. So I'm finding Paloma right now to film an updated prediction. Naomi and Bianca, they've been battling against damage control. And with Jade Cargill arriving to SmackDown, six women tag match. What do you think about that? Just with the name that she already has for herself, like, why not? Naomi's been killing it for years. Over a decade. Bianca is an EST of like current day, yep. and then Jade Cargill, the future coming in. I think that, that team's gonna be mind blowing. But... That trio right there, like, come on. I'm here with Paloma. Hi, yay, the Sriracha Muchacha. Look, I'm outside the studio. I exist outside the studio, you're all welcome. Who do you think will win? Okay, it's super obvious who's gonna I mean, win. I mean, I mean, I mean true, come true. on, we all know it's gonna be Jade, Bianca, and Naomi winning. I love this match, but the booking for this match, uh, come on, Bianca took them three all by herself. Obviously Jade can too. Yeah. So what do they say? And then Naomi that one time has like zero wins against them. Couldn't even take them out. So it's like two women that could take all three of damage control by themselves and then Naomi. It's Which on paper is gonna be, I mean not even on paper, on in the ring. It's gonna be an amazing match. I cannot wait for it. The spots are gonna be great. But like booking wise, But no. did you see that photo? Three yeah. of them standing together, pointing at Mania side. I got chills. So cool. I it got chills. Amazing. And it, it just kind of sucks that WWE put themselves, book themselves into a corner and making them seem kind of unbelievable towards these badasses because all women in this match are awesome and badass and they can go. Yeah. But the fact that they booked them into this way, it's like, oh man, that sucks. This is going to be a bang of a match, but unfortunately, writing's on the wall. But who do you think takes the pin? Poor Asuka. Asuka cannot catch a Kyrie. pin kind of a mania. I think Kyrie. Yeah, it's just hard because it's like, Jade doesn't need anybody to win a match. She can do it yeah. all by herself. If I had to predict, it would be... Jade would get the W. Of course. Yeah. 
Just of course. Yeah, because she, you know, said she was coming in. It was like this big hurrah of like, yeah. ooh, Jade. We have yeah. Jade here. Like, it made pop culture news. So let's do quick predictions for other matches. I love it. Rhea or Becky? I'm going to say Rhea, okay. especially after those comments that Becky's been making ooh. about Rhea's little nope. stink face thing. <laughs> She also got two months left, Becky. Totally. And yeah. then Bailey versus EO. Ooh, this is gonna be such a good one. I think this is the one that I'm like could go either way, but I'm gonna say Bailey. Thank oh. you so much. No problem. Thanks for coming to find me. Yay. What do you think about Naomi's return to WWE so far? So honestly, I think Naomi, you know how I go. That is always gonna be my sister from another mister. I just loved all the stuff that she was doing. Um she, yeah, like just Tina, you know, she it gave her a lot of opportunity. I guess I was thinking that when she came back, it was going to be, even though she's getting opportunity, I I want to see her on that same level of what they're mm. doing, like a Jade, Charlotte. Like, you know, you've seen all these women who have come and have gotten in, they're like these, they, they're they kind of like moving to like, or you could say like a mega star in wrestling in WWE. Right. And I want to see that for her. And I feel like she was having that when she was in TNA. Maybe the trajectory will change. And it's kind of like, they're not giving us what we want for the simple fact it makes people pissed off then because it means like it's not about it's a marathon not a sprint type of thing and that's what i'm hoping it, it's so frustrating to watch somebody who's extremely athletic so talented the number one contender for every divas champion since her since her debut match at tlc wearing a santa's helpers costume it's like <laughs> It literally, since her debut, like, the new girl gets the opportunity because they know how good she is. It was finally so great to see her get her flowers in TNA. If it doesn't happen again in WWE, it's gonna be really frustrating. I actually fell in love with wrestling as, as soon as I heard, my name is Naomi Knight and I'm from Orlando, Florida. Like, in the <laughs> NXT season three premiere, like... That, that's even how I met you. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> and it's true. People like, hey girl, you here for the fucking apples? But hey, girl, like, oh, Naomi. <laughs> <laughs> That's my boo too. Like, yeah. so I get it. Speaking of uh, fungodactyls, there is a FCW video that's been floating online that got a lot of people talking. The oh yes, yeah. stankology. <laughs> you're, yeah. you're giving the Naomi before fungodactyl. Yeah. <laughs> what was that? It's so interesting because <laughs> when I met when I met Naomi, we just flipped. We just had like this bond and. She was already on the road, but hadn't made her debut, and we were like... Next week, we should have a tag team match. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah. 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 We had so much fun with that. I don't even... Oh my gosh, the wings. Just, and then Byron Sachs said, yeah. <laughs> like, these two. Yeah. But it's because of her. Like, if it... Uh, I mean, again, we just had this connection, because even when it came about the fuck the dactyls, I don't, I'm like, I have three months of training. I don't have a dance background. It's just, we have this connection and she just is one of those, these type of people who um, is so non-problematic. She gets along with everyone. I've never heard someone say like one bad thing about her in-ring skills, her personality. Like she is literally just that mold of that person of like, yes, girl, you deserve all the flowers in the world. And I'm so grateful for her because I feel like she's, Me too. she's the one who was able to help, you know, me get on the main roster and be, you know, a part of the Funkadactyls. Cause I'm like, who was thinking of me? I'm like, I don't know, but James background or like, quite worse, yeah, so. <laughs> I hope Naomi can glow at this WrestleMania. I'm so excited for that. But a lot of things are happening this WrestleMania week. WrestleMania weekend, when we got the WrestleMania 40 happening in the East Coast, we've got something huge coming to West Coast. It is the return of PTW! Hey. Oh my god! I'm so excited it's back! Yes! Yes, and we're so sad that you can't be there, but we know you're doing your thing in Philly, as you should. Who would ever thought um, we would be doing something so amazing. Just, I feel blessed as we're the lead into WrestleMania. Having these storylines, we have a lot of exciting things happening. I just can't wait for everyone to see them. I will say, I don't think anything has like stressed me out, like running your own wrestling promotion, <laughs> like in the longest time. Every single day, like when we're not working, we're on the phone for two to three hours a day, like going over the things that we need for it, making sure it's gonna be perfect. What I can say is we have so many 
talented, incredible athletes that are going to be at this show. A lot of debuts. I remember last time when I was at PTW, it was at this luxurious club in WeHo. And I was like, damn, this is a wrestling show that I needed, I wanted. The actions were popping. The storylines were there, the character. And it's got like sound effects. But it was like the wrestling moves are happening. What was your favorite? Obviously, the favorite match has to be, I mean, the main event match between you and Sunny. Clips were floating everywhere because you were not playing in that. Oh, well, I appreciate that. No, I, Olympia's what I was asking because I do feel like we have had someone who really has not been in the wrestling world that long but made a very big impact. People were like, who is that? Oh, yeah. Maximilian? <laughs> Maximilian Montclair. <laughs> okay, Maximilian Montclair has been all over Reddit, Wrestle With Package page, <laughs> yep. all over gay wrestling Twitter. Yep. He's been just taken over with his Maximilian... Booty. Uh, I like this a lot. I, I mean, love it. but again, it just goes to show. She knows what the gays want. That's exactly what we did. I want to add, like, bringing different worlds together. We have LGBTQ. We have wrestling. We have people right. who, if you're not into wrestling, then come to the club. Come turn yeah. it up. We have the photo yeah. booth. We have the DJ. We have so many different things that we're bringing where it's combining so many worlds. The crowd was amazing. A lot of, like... The girlies and the gays were there. You've got like UFC fighter that was there. Taya Valkyrie was there just chilling around like seeing the show. That was a really good crowd. So I totally, totally recommend. But I gotta ask Ari, you had a main event with Sonny Kiss that blew everyone away. What's the plan for this time? Oh, well. the plan is for you to wait and see and go ahead and get your ticket <laughs> at www.poundtownwrestling.com. You can see what's going down and the, who the storyline is with. Um, I would love to spill the tea here, but you know, we got to make sure we get them tickets whenever you want it. www.poundtownwrestling.com. It would be awesome to have... Whoever's watching, ring the bell, come support us. In attendance or online, you're also able to watch it online. I also need to talk about your freaking new, brand new music video. When you're a queen, you ain't worried about a bad chick. I ain't worried about bad <laughs> Or is it bad chicks? It's bad chick now. <laughs> bad chicks, well, we yeah. we have the explicit and the clean version. I feel like as a woman, when you stay in your lane and you're, you're focus driven and resilient, the sky has no limits. Look at that. <laughs> I didn't know something to say. No, so it's my sassy way of um, whatever term you want to use, whether it's being a bad, bad chick or whatever you define yourself as, it's knowing that you are a queen. You are your own superpower and, and just like own, like really hone that in. I mean, everyone's trying to be the next this, the next celebrity, but there's only one of them. An original is worth more than a copy. Stream queen and also... What makes me excited is a portion of the proceeds goes to the homeless and to kids with autism. I love it. I love it. I mean, you filmed it in the wrestling ring. It looks so freaking good. And you got the hot hunky men to all like dance together in the ring. It was a dream come true. <laughs> And the person taking your moves is really hot too, yes. Thank you so much for joining in for this very special episode. Where can we all find you? Well, you can follow me at Hunter J. Gallagher on Instagram and Hunt J. Gallagher on Twitter. And you can follow me across the board at Ariane Andrew. And of course, Poundtown Wrestling to get your tickets and to follow Poundtown Wrestling for all of our amazing talents. And unfortunately, Poundtown Wrestling was too long on Twitter. So at this is PTW over on Twitter. But across the board, everywhere else, pounds on wrestling. Thank you so much for joining in. And what is your WrestleMania predictions? Share your prediction down below in the comment section. And we'll see you next time. Bye!